dual impression technique as the name suggests us that it shows two impressions anatomical impression at the rest functional impression during the masticatory forces it is used in distal extinction cases like kennedy's class 1 and class 2 in kennedy's class class 1 and class 2 we will see the posterior edentulous areas in the posterior edentulous areas we will fabricate the custom tray material under the rest and on these we will manufacture the occlusal rims and over the occlusal rims we will take the impression with the alginate material alginate material loaded with the stock tray and placed over these after placing we will apply little finger pressure in order to produce the or simulate the uh, masticatory forces to record the during the masticatory forces and it is the functional impression and while uh, removing the stock tray the alginate impression material picks up the first impression material so it is also called as the pick up impression it is uh, this technique is called the maclean's technique there are some disadvantages in this maclean's technique those are uh, these little finger pressure does not simulate the pressure produced by the masticatory forces so recorded functional impression is not under that much compression and the next one is that the alginate present between the stock tray and the occlusal rim does not produce or permit the finger pressure applied to the tissues to record during the masticatory forces and to overcome these disadvantages hindels made some modifications let us see what are those it is same as that of the maclean's technique but the thing is that while making the custom tray material he made stoopers these does not permit much forces to compress the tissue and the another modification is that while selecting the stock tray material he selected the one with the holes uh, by selecting this uh, we can directly place the finger and apply the pressure so it is easily reaches the tissues and records the impression material under the forces thank you